Do you know how important a video thumbnail is? Think about it. It's like a book cover, a movie poster, or a magazine's front page. It's the first glimpse your audience gets of your video content, and it could be the determining factor between a click and a pass. Picture this. You've poured time and resources into creating a fantastic video. But can you convince your audience to click on it and watch? This is where a custom video thumbnail comes to your rescue. While a platform might automatically generate a thumbnail for your video, a custom one makes your content stand out. Now, you might ask, why bother with video thumbnails? The answer is simple. First impressions are crucial, and thumbnails, along with video titles, are often the first things people see when they come across your video. With a custom thumbnail, you get a chance to make an impact right from the start. Now that we understand the importance of video thumbnails, let's dive into the requirements and specs for different platforms. For YouTube, you can either pick a thumbnail from the three auto-generated frames or manually upload your own. The latter should have a file size of no more than 2 megabytes and a minimum resolution of 1280 peaks by 720 peaks, aiming for a 16-9 aspect ratio. On Facebook, you can pick a thumbnail from the auto-generated suggested images, choose a still frame from the video, or upload a high-resolution custom thumbnail image. This image must be a JPG or PNG file with a 16 to 9 ratio and should ideally be 1200px by 675px. Vimeo offers similar options but with slightly different requirements. Here, your thumbnail can be a JPG, PNG, or GIF file, but it should match the video dimensions and not exceed 9600px wide or 5400px tall. LinkedIn, on the other hand, automatically uses the first frame of your video as the thumbnail. However, you can upload an image to use as a thumbnail, which should match the aspect ratio and resolution of your video and have a file size no larger than two megabytes. Now, what if you can't natively upload a thumbnail? For instance, Twitter automatically uses the first frame of your video as the thumbnail, and Instagram only allows you to choose a still frame from your video as a thumbnail. But don't worry, you can still manually insert a custom thumbnail by editing your video so that this thumbnail appears for the first few frames. But how do you create these thumbnails? There are several tools available, like Canva, which offers hundreds of YouTube template designs to choose from. You can add, edit, and adjust different elements to create a thumbnail that perfectly represents your video. To sum up, video thumbnails are crucial in attracting viewers. They need to be eye-catching, accurately represent your content, and meet the requirements of the platform you're using. Remember, a well-designed thumbnail can significantly increase your video's click-through rate, so it's worth investing time and effort into creating one that stands out.